So I went last night to the VMFA and they had some really wonderful jazz band. I really liked it and people were dancing. I, I'm not a dancer. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't grow up that way. I don't, it's very rarely that I dance, but I do enjoy watching people dance. Um, but it was, it was kind of a deep, deep sorrow when I looked, we had a huge crowd. There was probably 300 people. It was a lot of people. And I thought, this is great. Everybody's coming. And, um, but I was like, for the past 10, 12 years, I've handed out cards of, of my, my job as world preschool artist. That's not even going to be a drop in the bucket to the people that need to know about it. And what am I, what am I do? Go take over the stage and say, get ready. No. It's out of my hands. It's out of my control. I just try to do what I can to prepare myself if, if the nonprofit is, you know, the donate patrons do, donate the money for the nonprofit with the concepts and the ideas, and I'm going to make some more art. But um, and you know, that's within. I can't remember who said it. Within a confine, you know, you put your the things that you. I'm confined to a room that's like 12 by 12. And my landlord is very particular about his stuff. She don't want to get paint on her furniture or carpet. So I'm going to work in bed. I'm going to get 8 by 10 clay boards and get, you know, mediums. And, and I'm going to work in bed that, so if anything gets on the bed, it will be my comforter, not her floor. And then I'm going to hook them together. I might hook them together with dental floss. I think that would be a conversation starter. I know my youngest daughter, she absolutely refused to dental floss her teeth. And we went once and she had three cavities. She didn't like that. So the next time she went back, she didn't have any cavities. And she said, well, mom, I decided I would start flossing my teeth. <laughs>